Hey guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Do you guys love that art piece? My kiddo did that. Oh, I love it. Uh, anyways, have you guys heard of the white lady of Belete Drive in the Philippines? Well, if you haven't, let's go grab a snack and let's learn about her. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining in today. Um, I'm just in my kitchen here. I'm not going to really show it off because I just washed dishes and it's it's not really cute right now. But thank you for joining in. And if you like this video by the end, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're a returning subscriber, you guys, thank you so much for just hanging out with me and talking about ghost stories and ghosts and all kinds of things. So I'm excited to talk to you about this one because the white lady is one of my favorite urban legends and just spirits in general who kind of, uh, we hear about her all over the world. But today we're going to hone in on our lady, uh, our lady. Oh my gosh. The white lady of Balete Drive in Manila, Philippines. All right. All right, guys. So this story takes place on a street called Belete Drive, which are lined with Belete trees. And the definition of Belete trees are several species of trees in the Philippines from the genus Ficus, and I will probably mispronounce a lot of these, but here we go, which are broadly referred to as Belete in the local language. A number of these are strangler figs as they germinate upon other trees before entrapping their host tree entirely and eventually killing it. So a uh, legend has it that a lot of paranormal entities, ghosts, uh, the aswang, things like that, like to kind of hang out around these trees because of the mystical uh, features of these trees. So the Caparosa the White Lady of Belete Drive, has a couple of stories behind it. Um, it is an urban legend, but it's also, uh, people have said that they've had interactions with her before. Uh, so basically, kind of the story of the White Lady of Belete Drive is she was, uh, she was either a student or um, just a lady who was walking along and back in the 1950s was hit by a taxi and it was a hit and run. And so she roams the street now, trying to find her killer, um, you know, to get revenge or to, um, you know, to have some, some closure to that. So she's haunting the streets. And they say that um, to, if you're driving down, driving down Balete to, you know, have your back seat full, like have it full of people so that there's no space for anyone to sit in it because as most of uh, most white lady stories go that you're driving along a highway or a street and you see this lady in a long white flowing dress just standing at the side of the road and um, you can see it sometimes um, it'll be and, and this is anywhere but this is the story some of the stories that are coming from um, this area uh, you'll, you know, there's this lady, you approach this lady, she seems very nice, and you let her in her car, uh, your car, and then suddenly she disappears. Um, the white lady is also known to create accidents and things like that. Um, basically just seeking revenge, you know? And they say that uh, one thing is, is whenever you're going down Belete Drive, is to don't look in your rearview mirror because... If you look in your rearview mirror, you will most likely see her and you don't want to because at that point when you see her in your mirror, you get freaked out and then that's what causes the accident. Now, it could be a number of things that you're seeing. That was really weird. That was really weird. I don't know why my phone does that, but there are a lot of times when I'm talking about the paranormal when my phone will just freeze for a moment. Whew. And also, Lord have mercy, my hair is always so cute whenever I'm not filming and then all of a sudden, it just looks like, what the heck did she do to her hair? Anyway, 
whatever we gotta try new things sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so <laughs> anyway so I do want to read a quick story about about the white lady and this comes from inquirer.net and I'll leave a link below if you want to read about it or if you want to read the article but it goes almost 50 years ago as a young journalism undergraduate I was assigned to write an article about her who was she why was she haunting Boletta Drive? What did she want? My first stop was the police captain who gladly consented to an interview, his story. He was driving in a patrol car on Boletta Drive when, she, when he saw this woman thumbing a ride. She was all dressed in white, so he took pity on her because the street was dark and lonely. It was no place for a woman, uh, no place for a woman. She could be held up, essayed, or even killed and no one would know. So he stopped and asked her where she was going. She said he could drop her off at the corner of Espana Extension where she could get a ride home. He told her to get in and she got into the back seat. At the corner of Espana Extension, he turned around to tell her they were there. She was gone. Isn't it possible that she got out of the other door as soon as she got in? I asked. Impossible, the captain replied. The doors were locked. They were locked they were locked and were still locked when he checked after she disappeared. The other victims had similar stories. They gave a ride to a hitchhiking white lady who disappeared when they looked back. Who was she? Why was she haunting Balletta Drive? I located a woman who claimed to be close to the friend of the white lady when she was alive. She was said to be killed in an accident on Belletta Drive. It was a hit and run case. There were no witnesses and the driver was never caught. Maybe she wants her killer caught, the friend said. Her soul could not rest until he was brought to justice. But whoever he was, he could be dead by now or at least very old. With no clues, the police closed the case of the woman's accidental death. So all of those years after he killed her, how did this driver feel? During the uproar over the haunting Balletta Drive, did it ever enter his mind to give himself up or to pull her soul over to rest? Oh, <laughs> to give himself up or to put her soul to rest. Apparently not. And maybe, and he may still be out there reading this. So yeah. So that is the story of the white lady of Balletta Drive. There's a lot more to this article, but clearly I am not a great cold reader. So, which is also why I never, I didn't pass a lot of auditions because I can't cold read, man. Like dyslexia kicks in sometimes. But anyways, there is another theory that the, actually a couple of other theories. Another theory is that she was, uh, that the uh, white lady was, I guess, a mistress and was killed. The other theory is that she was killed by her family at home and she just kind of wanders Balete, just lost. Um, but yeah. Have you guys had any stories or any experiences with the white lady of Balete Drive? If you have, Comment below. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And I won't, I'm going to be talking more and more about Balletta Drive because I know that there's a lot more that goes on. I know that this is just the one story that uh, is one of the most popular because, I mean, when you hear a story about the white lady, it's freaky. It is really freaky. And a lot of times um, in other stories around the world, it's, you know, that the lady was left at the altar. So, and that's why she's wearing the long dress because it's her wedding dress. But this one, uh, we don't know why she's wearing a white dress. It could just be the ghostly color of it. But nonetheless, it is still a creepy story. And I know that I find myself a lot of times when I'm just driving at night, I hate looking in the rear view mirror because I, that's just me. And I always feel like if I look back there, I'm gonna see something. The same with just looking in a mirror at night, like in the dark, no matter where I'm at. I'm just like, ugh. It's, you know, I, I definitely do believe that mirrors are a portal. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, what are your what are your thoughts on that? Do you believe in the white lady but let the drive? Or, oh, let me back up real quick. 
So it is rumored that this particular story was made up by a reporter as well um, because they were, I guess, needing some coverage or they were needing some views and they were like, let's, let's get the story going. And so it could just be fake all around. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hoped that you enjoyed this video of the Lady of Ballette Drive. And again, if you've had any experiences with uh, this, this white lady, uh, let me know, comment below, and have you ever had an experience with uh, the spirit of, of you know this, this white lady ghost, be it in the Philippines or anywhere else in the world? Let me know, comment below, and until next time you guys, stay spooky.